Okay, guys, I'm going to take a quick look at Air Canada stock. This stock was hot for a while, but lately it hasn't been doing so well. It's been on a daily downtrend where you had it setting lower highs day after day, big sell off, volume spike at that high. Look, right at that volume spike, went a little bit higher, consolidated, distribution, and then just been selling off since then it had a bear flag here negated the bear flag was a fake out to the upside and then we've seen another little spike at the high not much of a spike but higher than the previous days and now it's been downtrending again it looks like the downtrend is going to continue it's showing a lot of weakness we're not oversold on the daily time frame as of yet there's no signs of a bullish MACD cross. There's no volume spike at the lows. Nothing comparable to the volume spikes up here. We're still getting lower highs and lower lows on the chart. Bulls are going to try to hold this support level, 2480, as a support level. Um, but it's not looking too promising at the moment. You had a bounce today where bulls were attempting a double bottom off of that area and that bounce was sold off there was an upper wick of profit taking it broke yesterday's high without any follow-through so the stock is still showing weakness and i looked at american airlines and it's showing weakness as well similar to air canada where you got that upper wick of profit taking and american airlines i think they announced some good news um, that they're expecting a small profit or something in their next quarter but uh, clearly the market didn't care. The volume came in. People were buying, thinking that's good news. And it ended up just selling off. And there was that upper wick of profit taking there. And a similar thing is happening with Air Canada. And when I look at this, you know, I was thinking it was strong in the last video. And I was looking for it to set that higher low and trade within an equilibrium pattern. If you watch my last video on Air Canada, I think I failed uh, to take in some information. So I missed some information. And there's other things I didn't really see. And that's the thing when you analyze charts. You need to try to make sure you see everything and take a look at all the time frames and stuff. Um, because one small detail, you miss it and that could tell the story so it looks like there was this trend line that was forming and it was trying to hold that before see that lower wick of buying the dip is trying to hold this trend line looks like it's breaking now we're closing below that trend line it's bounced off that area multiple times and now we've broken it and it almost looks like a bearish head and shoulders you got a big shoulder head and another shoulder over here looking at the RS, uh, the MACD on the weekly got a bearish MACD cross on the weekly. RSI is showing weakness. It's now dropping below 50 RSI. So I'm going to say right now, my opinion, it's not looking too good uh, for the bulls. It's consolidated around this area for a while. Almost looks like distribution. That's what it could be. Right around that 50 month moving average that was acting as a resistance every time it went above, it just sold off and there was an upper wick of profit taking. So right now, in my opinion, I would hold off on Air Canada as it appears that the bears are still in control. And just aside from the chart, okay, just aside from the chart, and I try to do all my analysis without any bias when it comes to my YouTube videos, because I do have biases, you know, but I'll tell you my bias on this stock. Okay, so as for the technicals, I'm separating my bias from the technicals. The technicals are what they are. I'm not making anything up to benefit my bias. I see what I see. That's what I see. Okay, but my bias is that Air Canada, they did so much dilution. They raised so much money. Their revenue went way down. They took so many losses. They had to let go of so many people. And their business still hasn't anywhere near recovered to what it was pre-COVID. Now, I'm sure it will eventually. But either way, even if it does recover fully and 
even grows, even even if they get more business than they did pre-COVID. The fact remains that they did so much dilution on their stock and that they raised so much money and took on a lot of debt. And that's going to stick with them for a while. It's going to take a while to pay off that debt. And there's way more shares in the pool now. I think they diluted their stock. It was upwards of like 40% dilution. Like that's a big dilution. The stock did about a 50% retracement. If you look from this high to this low, let's look at the high. $52.71. The low, $9.26. This medium level, $31. It's right around the middle of this big move. So it did about a 50% retracement. I think it's time to sit out this stock for now and wait for more data to take a bullish position because right now it looks like the bears are in control. And if a bullish opportunity comes on this stock and I see potential, I'll probably make another video and let you know. Okay, so thanks guys for watching. Check out my website, 10baggerstocks.com. I just did a big update on uh, my course website. Go to 10baggerstocks.com and then click the investing and trading course. I added a support line there. You can call the support line if you have any questions about the course. The course is going on sale mid, mid next month for the back to school sale. I'm going to do a big sale and I'm going to release a subscription service as well where I'm going to give you all the top long term, short term, day trade and I'm going to give you all the level support resistance. Uh, if you think I give you a lot in these YouTube videos and if you like what I do with these YouTube videos, if I'm running a subscription service, I'm going to give way more. I won't charge people for nothing. So keep it, keep an eye on that next month to end of next month. I'm going to release that and you guys might be interested in that. Okay. Check out my Instagram, 10 bagger stocks, my website, 10 bagger stocks.com. Remember to like comment, subscribe, share, and please press that like button. Thanks guys.